Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Asian Report and starting with the ASX 200 and I thought we would start on the monthly chart here and um, with the monthly chart here we're looking at in the long term here anyway from the GFC here nice sh sharp wave 4 in this particular case so we're looking for uh, cycle wave 5 up through to here and we're looking for five waves in terms of one and two and three and four and five waves of primary degree and we're also looking for five waves in this structure uh, from four to five we're also looking for um, it not that it has to make a new high here um, it just needs to produce five waves in here and this is what I wanted to talk about today um, but in most cases we would see a new top made above uh, wave five certainly at this degree um, of uh, structure. So um, yeah, let's just go into the weekly chart here. So from that wave four here, primary wave four to count uh, to uh, to to um, primary wave five here, um, we're looking at one and two here, and one and two and three and four and five of minor degree to make intermediate wave three, intermediate wave four, and then we're looking for. Uh, five waves up here to extend to the upside because we are a commodity um, country and um, commodities can normally extend in their fifth wave um, uh, where stocks normally extend in their third waves so but there is also the possibility that this particular wave five from four here counting five waves up could finish uh, here as well so we need to be mindful of that. I don't think that's the case, but um, we certainly need to um, be sort of diligent on that. And um, it would be the resources that would top it out here. And it would be the banking sector that takes it up to here. So um, our main job at the moment is going from wave four and just counting up to here. But when we get to this five wave structure here, just be mindful that we still need to resolve that being wave one or wave five being here. Okay. Um, into the daily chart here, this is where we are here at the moment. So from this wave, for looking up here um, to to this wave one I'll, I'll just bring this one in here just to remind us a little bit here as well here <clears throat> so um, yeah um, this is what we're looking for here this is this counts a little bit oddly up here as well I must say but my best fit for this is one and two here and three here and four here and then looking for uh, five waves up here in terms of one and two and three and four and five finishing here so we won't be we won't be up at this space here at the 6500 we'll be seeing a larger correction um, at um, 6300 which will be the top of group one but it all the, all the same too that if if the top of group one, the, the number three, 6,300, develop support, well, then we'll push up there. We're not going to miss it because I'm quite, I'm quite comfortable with working uh, uh, group one levels, so 100, 200, 300 to the upside. I'm quite familiar with most of the possibilities um, that can happen there and what to do. So, um, yeah. Anyway, let's just drill into this little section from wave four to wave five of one or five here and we can do that on the four hour chart. So from this wave four here, uh, as mentioned before, there's a couple of different ways to, to count all of this. Um, so, but in this case here, we're looking at wave one here and wave two here uh, and wave three here and ABC for wave four here and then pushing up for wave five. So in this pushing up for wave five here, we talked about on the hourly chart before, uh, taking the top of this impulse wave out here. So this is what we need to talk about today uh, in this particular structure here. We do have a nice support, don't we, on, on um, from all the levels here, the 100, the 200, and the 300 here. They're the, our, our first sort of skeleton of this grid to the upside, the main levels anyway. Uh, then we can break it down into sub-levels after that. So... Um, the main point here is that you can see that the market is sitting 
on top of this level here. So if that breaks, that level breaks, the 200, then we need to be short. So we need to be short under that bar here. Well, you know how it works. So if the market comes down through to here, it will bounce back up and then come through and retest it. And you can go under here and down from that point there. But also too, if I do count this as a bullish pattern to the upside, then that all of these all of these lows here are actually quite they're all critical in terms of building an impulse wave to the upside so we can go short under here and we can stay long here that's what i call taking the next logical step no matter what um, opinions are in the market because the price and the volume have have uh, confirmed this particular price action how far will it go well i don't know but uh, let's go in and see what we've got here on the impulse side of things so on the two hour chart uh, that was an alternative count but still same same um, let's go to the one hour chart so the one hour chart here, I must point out from the beginning here on the cash market, this does suit a nice top here. So it was quite possible to do a few things here. If I was looking at the cash market, the cash market I could put here and then put this here as, as um, wave four, or in fact wave, because this is in five waves here on the cash market, we could put wave four over here and have this here as an A wave here, C wave over here, and a B wave here as such. So um, that's what I wanted to talk about uh, here a little bit as well. So if we were looking at a bearish side here, and we need to do that because we need to understand um, this particular pattern here. So last time we spoke was on the upside to here, and, and I, as I mentioned to you that we had five waves here, and that we need to take that top out there on the long trade, but at the same time, I mentioned this move down here looked like it was in five. So we may get an A wave, a B wave and a C wave coming down to the you know, 50, 60 percent mark and then moving off. And and uh, and, and that that occurred, but it's still, you know, still basically got it right. Um, so um, in that case, we can look at this as wave one here an A and a B and a C for wave two and then up for one here and back for two here and then up for one here, because this is in five waves here as well, and back for two here of a smaller degree, and then we can look at this being up for one here and back for two, and then from this point here, we've got one, two, three, four, five here, which will make the third, um, oh, still one wave short, but I'll fix it up later, it doesn't matter. Um, so we should just continue to push to, to the upside based on this, but also too on the, short side of things, um, you know, uh, on the short side of things, this can be viewed as this move up here being five waves as an A wave here, a B wave here, and a C wave right here. And then what happens in this instance, if I can just copy this here, this becomes wave three here, wave four here, and wave five here. I don't think this is the case. We're in this trend channel at the moment. So if it can move out of the trend channel, then we're, we're on it. You'll know that we're on our way to the upside. But um, this can be counted as an A and a B and then one and two and three and four and five diminishing into wave C here and then moving down through here. So um, even this little move here um, if we're looking at this as an impulse wave moving up here from here to here, 61.8% mark down here, um, any move probably back to the 200 area here um, would probably justify um, uh, a bearish move from that point. But also remember that if the move, if, if the market moves down through here, then there's going to be support. So there'll be this support coming through here. So a move down here and then a bounce back and then down through here. So um, this is the short side area here under the 200. You could get a better position up here. a smaller position and then look to, to build through this area through here but otherwise we need to head up through here okay I just really wanted to sort of move in and have a look at the um, at both sides here so as far as 
As far as the crows can fly, then we're looking at um, 6,300 here. That will take us up here on the Friday, and which is today, and, and the Monday, and then start to look week here um mid midweek next week look um you know sort of in the bearish mode from this point and you know if this market is going to move even higher still then we're not going to miss it because um if you know the trading levels and the patterns that occur at the trading levels there's only there's only basically three patterns that are going to occur here um well there's five really one is where it doesn't stop and just keeps going um, so there's that. There's one that comes up to here and fails and never comes back. Um, but if it's going to be a bullish pattern, then it's either going to be the distance that moves above will be the distance that moves below, and then it will work itself into this level here, and it will be overlapping wave structures there, so it will move up from there. The other one's the classic trading levels pattern, where we have the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, and then moves up from there. And then the variation on this classic trading levels pattern here, because we just take the tops out here on, on these ones here, and all and same with these ones here. So the variation of this doesn't come below here, so it just comes the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and then it has this ABC pattern and sits on the level there nice and cleanly and moves up. But because our strategy is always to take these highs out here, then we'll be safe here as well. So we ain't going to miss it here. Um, I'm going to move on to the Asian markets now and starting with China and its uh, its Trump issue with the trade wars um, situation. Um, so what we've got, we're on track here. The wave count is, is it has, you know, we haven't really missed a beat in here. We've stalled a couple of times on these corrections, but um, I think we've done quite a good job here. So in this instance here, what we're looking for um, uh, here is, well, an A wave, a B wave, and then one and two and three and four, and looking down for five here. And in that f from four to five here, we're looking at one and two here, down for three, um, Across for four here and then down for five. So this is 11,500. It's the medium level. It carries 11,500. It carries the same weight as this medium level here. So it's going to be a bit of a sticking point here. So major level, medium level, and then down into minor levels and sub levels and then micro levels. And they all fit um, quite nicely with, uh, with Elliott Wave and, and also the psychology of the market as well in terms of where um, people place um, orders at certain numbers. Well, in very simple terms, whole numbers and even numbers people tend to go for first and odd numbers last. So orders build up around certain numbers. So we're looking for five waves in this structure down through to here. We have been short here. We have moved the stop here. We have taken 70% here um, and we can leave the stop there and uh, move down um, yeah, or you, I mean, we're in it. You don't want to, you know, we're in the trend, so we, we don't want to get out unless we have to. <clears throat> um, four hour chart here. So from that wave four here, we're looking at wave one and two here. I've adjusted this a little bit here to this some of these little things to to line up with um, the other the other Asian markets as well. So they're just all in sync a little bit. Um, with the other Asian markets, however, we'll be looking at this as blue wave three here and blue wave four over here and then down. And so not that it matters, just a different degree of structure. And yes, I've probably got it wrong so in, in one of them, um, but it doesn't really matter. We kind of know where we are. In this instance here, um, this move down through to here, we can look at it coming back to the 38.2% retracement level here. So we still, for the time being, we just want to leave our stop out of the way here. Okay, we've covered ourselves by taking some off the table here. And once this top of wave four comes in, well, then we can, um, well, we can bring the stop down above that. And then we can also look to 
sort of short through there and move down. This wave 5 here should be roughly the same length as this one here. Um, on the bearish side too, I mean, if there's been a mistake made uh, in, in my work here um, and the trade war, um, I mean, the trade war is just a sort of a preliminary um, exercise for um, a military move, I guess, based around the South um, China South Sea there, you know. Um, the US is still antagonizing the, um, the uh uh, the Chinese by you know taking their navy ships through there, so that hasn't resolved. There's a there's a whole lot there's a whole lot of issues building up across there. So um, it's important that we do stay on the short side and have some money in the market because um, it's not that issue's not resolved. So that's in a trend um, as well as getting more negative in line with um, with with Trump's uh, sort of. Uh, reduction in communications and uh, sharing and so on. So um, the Hang Seng um, is also in the same boat as well. I'll just stay on the four hour chart here. Same thing here as well. We already took some profit on here. Um, so in hindsight, it's a bit early, but um, you know, we had to do, I had to take the next logical step because I know that there would, there was support here and we could have got a larger bounce and we were too early into the, not, we weren't too early into the trade, we were into the trade um, reasonably well. I mean, we could have gotten into the trade here, but we did it here. I'm, I'm just sort of, I'm, I'm a, I like to take a balanced view on, on every decision that, that I make um, and that way I can live with myself. Um, so that's what I've done. It's not the best, but it's something and it's panned out quite nicely. So we'll continue to do the same thing here as well. If you wanted to take more profit, then this is where it would be here. So if you wanted to take another 20% or 25%, that's good. It's always good to leave some skin in the game because... Um, you know, you're still in the ring and it's not finished yet. And um, yeah, so we still have another leg to the downside here to um, to play out here. This is a minor level here, the 28. So I might just, I normally put the minor levels in black. So I'll just do that to darken them up a little bit. So um, yeah, we can expect a bounce off this number if you know your levels. Um, but at the same time, we'll look for an A and a B and a C, and then we'll look for a short trade to get in here. Um, and if I can find five waves in here, three in here and five in here, we can get a short position higher up here, or perhaps even at the 29 here um, as, as a retested resistance here. We can work that side of it here in terms of the trading levels patterns here. Um, and look to the short side there. The Nikkei as well. Um, the Nikkei here, um, in terms of wave three here, looking for an A and then an A and a B and a C for the B wave here, and then down through here. So in this case here, we don't have a position uh, here, or did we do one on the four hour chart? I don't think we did, maybe we did, but look, the thing here is that this this particular pattern here is uh, in in line with uh, the U.S. market. So it's this is what's possible here. Um, it's also possible that I'll just move this here. It's also possible that this is actually wave one sitting on top here and coming back over here with wave two sitting here, and then we move straight to the upside here. Um, so I'm, I'm not quite sure here. Um, I'm not that familiar with this particular market. We've only started, I mean, I'm, I've known it for a long time, but um, in terms of actually studying all the little idiosyncrasies and so on with them, because I mean, all markets are the same as all people are the same, but at the same time, we're all uniquely different and we've got our own little patterns and yada, yada, yada. So, um, yeah, look, but we will look, uh, we will follow, tune this in with the US market. If the US market is going to come down further, which looks likely um, in our primary count, well, then this will be the same here as well um, here. So we can look at this as one, two, three, four, and five down for one, and A and B and a C coming back up into this box. And this is just the broad stroke here to be short because it's been A and a B and a C. We'll put a trend line under that and we'll move in, but we may be able to move in uh, sooner than that um, as well. Um, 
Okay, so the only mistake that I that I could have made here, if I can, the other mistake rather, is I take wave one and I put wave one under here. So I'll just, I don't think it's the case, and I'll put it in very lightly there. You probably can't even see that because it's on the recording side of things, but um, I'll just save that. But look, the main point here is that we're going to be looking for a short trade in here uh, as such, and... Um, uh, yeah, so um, the other one, the the nifty here, um, it's the same here as well. Um, so we can look at this as wave three here and an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here for wave four. We talked about going short under here because, and we talked about, we also talked about being long here as well, just in case this, this little pattern here, we had it pegged as an A and a B and a C pattern here, even though it came up quite high. Um, but it could have been up for one and back for two, up for one and back for two and moved up. So we didn't want to miss it. Um, so we had both triggers there, one for a long, one for a short. So we can take that one away. We're in short on this one here, that's fine and that can drift down further. Now, there's a situation here where we can get one and two and three and four and five down here for, to wave C here and then move up from there. But there's also the, uh, the, 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 the thing that um, this could actually come down, continue to, to move down into uh, lower ground into wave four here. I'm not sure yet. Um, and it's also possible too in this instance here, if I can just copy that and so it's, um, you know it's also possible I mean I would count this down um, you know here as, as one here on this note here but um, I, I can't do that because this is in a corrective wave so we will probably have to put this here as wave one and wave two here and then wave three coming down into this space here and wave four and wave five and I can just move that one across over here um, and I'll fill those dots in a little bit uh, later uh, there so um, that should be fine. Um, we'll also get a bounce off this number here, the 10,500, and that bounce will be in line with the other markets as well. So it will probably come back and test the entry point here um, uh, in terms of an, of an A and a B and a C in line with the other markets and then move down further. Um, and that may also give us another opportunity to look for a short trade here on that bounce. Um, the other side here too is that if for if if I'm wrong here and the and the the 10,500 becomes the resistance here, a nice tested resistance and the same thing again. So if I can just use it over here, the market comes down, bounces off the 500, moves through here, comes back, moves down. So we want to be able to go short through here on that retest here, um, and move in shorter from that point. All right, um, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.